I got my copy of X12 open. And I believe your thing, let me get it, oh yeah, I've got it on the screen. I got it on my second monitor, so I'm just going to create, I'm going to skip the back because you're not having, I assume you're not having trouble with the back. Let's see, we'll bring this up. You look at the four play. No, there's no no dimensions. Okay. So let's see, come over a little bit. Up. Over. Back. Something like that. The general geometric shape of the land footprint. Let's see that that's 16, 23, I'm counting dimensions. So this part here is uh, about 30 feet. So I'm going to take shift select these walls, click on that dimension. Make it uh, 33 feet. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is 12 feet. Okay. Let's kind of try to get the geometry similar to what your plan view image is showing. Let's see. Probably needs to come back some. Oh, 11 feet. I can see it now. Let's get some otter dimensions on there. Let's make this 11 feet. I just wanted approximate. Okay. And I'm going to go on my second monitor to the pictures. Uh, I can't see the right side over here, but this is a gable. So you would you probably already know this. That's fine. <clears throat> Come on, slow computer. Where is roof? There it is. Full gable. And looking at the picture, can't really tell what's going on in this side because the picture doesn't show it and your plan view doesn't show anything. But it looks like I'm going to use a temporary wall and extend this one. I'm going to take this one and extend it temporarily. So I can take these two walls and tell them to be gable walls. So you can use temporary walls to get a, a roof built and then get rid of the temporary walls after the roof is built. Go over here and mark that uh, full gable. Okay, so that takes care of the house. And over here, I'm just going to make that a full gable. I'm going to assume that that's a full gable. I'm just guessing. Okay, and that'll, that'll give us the house. Now the porch wraps around, that's a railing wall. Looks like it's L-shaped and it terminates right here. And I can't tell the depth, but it looks like about, let's say six feet. And this dimension here is, is probably wrong. I've got this at six. I'm going to take this wall and this wall and move them with distance to six feet. Oh, yeah, okay. Now we have six and six, so that the L-shaped deck is uh, L-shaped. <laughs> okay. <coughs> now, in, if I was just doing this in, for myself, I would probably just do it, I would auto-build the roofs and then manually change everything up. But I'm, I'm going to, for newer users, I, I don't usually do that. I've been using it for 24 years, so it looks like there's no, I'm going to put an invisible wall here, a room 
so that this part of the deck is open. So I'm going to name it. Oops, well, I got ahead of myself. Deck, which has by default no ceiling and no roof over it. And the rest of it does have a roof, so I'm going to name this part Deck, and we'll alter the name, the default name to. Uh, that's an abbreviation for covered, covered deck. And before I close out of this, I'm going to make make sure that we have a roof and a, and a flat ceiling over it because it, in your picture, it does have. Now, uh, this first area here. Let's just. I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to, in my <coughs> excuse me, mock up, I'm going to assume the front door is, and the gable are centered on, at least from, from here to here. So I'm going to take that and center it on that wall. And the reason I'm doing that is that's, a, that's going to be the center of the gable. So it uh, looks like the gable is about 12 to 15 feet wide. So I'm going to use transform replicate to copy that ca centered cab line and move it to the right uh, seven feet. And I'm going to do it, do it again in the opposite direction. One copy minus seven feet. Okay, so these will be the baselines of my uh, gable. So I'm going to use the wall break tool and break on that cab line and on this cab line to separate this part of the uh, deck out to tell the auto roof generator that I want full gable there. And then I'm going to further wall break from here to heat whoops, here to this room divider wall and uh, this yeah hang on a second this is going to be a little tricky this and this I'm going to change alter these wall now because my defaults for this is, are goofy but I mean not applicable for this I'm going to change it to, uh, we'll go to Newell's and Balancers, and uh, Newell Posh, looks like you're about seven inches, and the Balancer is one and a half, that's probably fine, but I'm going to change to square, whoops, square, he said, and square. Actually, those Newell posts are... Uh, I think to get the look we want, I'm going to go, oh, I'm going to go over here to Newells and Ballesters in the library, Millwork. Something a little closer to your photograph. Uh, yeah, over here, uh, like that. And uh, I'm going to go over to the rail style. And uh, Boy, in X12, everything's different, or a lot of things are different and moved around <laughs> from X11, so I may fumble around a little bit. Let's see, I want, uh, yeah, on here, I want post to beam, that's true. Yeah, I don't mind that, okay. And, uh, Okay, oh yeah, auto post, none, no half posts at the wall. <clears throat> what I'm trying to do is emulate the, those, uh, other parts. <clears throat> I, I'm sorry I'm fumbling around a little bit, but X, X12, although I beta tested it for six months, 
I'm, I don't know it near as well as X11. Okay, that's probably close enough for those. And over on uh, noodles and balusters, I want the, yeah, okay, I've got my default set so that the noodle post will show. See, there's a post, 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 post. Now these, where there's nothing, no room, roof to support. Again, I'm gonna go over to noodles and balance to make them square. And we'll make the uh, <coughs> school noodle posts like to match the front. That's uh, capped. Yeah, that one. Now also see how it's going below the uh, top rail? That's a setting in rail style. I don't want post to beam here. I think I want, there we go. See that setting there releases the uh, newel post. Now I'll go back to newels and balusters and set those to seven for the newel post. And um, see here's the height of the railing. I'm gonna set this to uh, 42 and see what it looks like. Yeah, it looks, well, it's not quite that much. Let's make it 40. Yeah. Okay. Now the color's wrong. I, I get it, but uh, okay. Right now. Oh, and also I'm going to set the roof generator in the build roof dialog to twelve twelve. That appears to be what what you have. Yeah. I'm not going to build right now. Uh, I'll make sure all my bases are covered. Of course, the roofing, well, okay, let's go over to uh, edit default settings. And uh, roof. Okay, let's go over to materials, and I'm going to go the ridge cap. Let's see and roof surface. We'll set those to standing seam. From shingles to standing seam. I'm gonna go over here to, not manifest this catalog in this case. I'm looking for sheet metal standing seam. It's kind of a light gray, so we'll use that. That's white. But Looks white, white, white gray to me. Okay, so the, the roof materials are taken, taken care of. Now the wall that I use on the exterior walls, I might as well be thorough on this. You can see uh, it's kind of the default is a white siding. So I'm going to take this and open it and alter it to match your model. We'll go over here to wall types, define siding for. Click on the material that's default to siding for, and we'll go over here under siding and look for board and back. And that's fairly close. Beige, not exactly the same, but it's just close enough. And a lot of new users I've noticed they don't preset their default, and so that just creates a lot of work later because then you have to go back and change everything and change everything and change everything. I'm going to do something similar. I'm going to do an overview of what we have now. <coughs> okay, and there's that I want to pick up that color. So I'm going to use the uh, define material and get this color, click on the left click on the color and add it to my custom colors right there. And now I'm going to uh, take this bone color. I'm going to click on the color, change it to that color. And now bone is this color because I said so. Everything bone is going to change to that, that color. Now I'm going to take uh, the eyedropper, now that I have the color, and put it in plan mode. 
and click on the rails to get all the rails. So it's a very quick, quick way to, uh, now of course I get those 45 degree angle things on the post that, that could be added a later layer and maybe you not, wouldn't want to use that here, but it works over there because it's kind of similar to the uh, picture. Now I'm ready to build roofs, so we'll go build roof. Oh, I, I left some steps out. <laughs> Glad I caught that. These, these two walls here have a shed roof over them, and it looks to me like that's about 612. Might be 512. Let's use 512. We'll go over here to the roof tab, and right here, pitch is set from the build roof dialog at 12. I'm going to set this to 5 over just those walls. And also, this wall and this wall need to be reprogrammed so that they're uh, on, the, on the roof tab as full gable walls. And that way, you should create a, a shed roof here, and a shed roof here, and a gable roof here. All oh, this rigmarole I went through. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Now it will build roofs and see what the chief architect robot comes up with based on those in inputs and settings. Oh, look, it, it got, as usual, I'm sure it got part of the way there, but not all the way, which is pretty, pretty usual. And maybe, maybe somebody who uses a, let me change the vector view so I can see what's really happening here. So you got part of it. I, wonder, I don't know where I got that pitch, pitch but uh, I want these here, I'm gonna shift select them, open them, and tell them I want them to be 12-12. So you take what it auto builds and then uh, we'll take this line and connect it with that line and rotate We we'll do the same thing on the other side. Obviously it went o overboard in creating the uh, shed roof. It built a shed roof, but it built it a lot. I clicked on the wrong thing. There we go. What's wrong with that thing? All right. Sometimes you have to give the build roof, I mean the join roof dial tool some help. There, now it's working. Okay, now this is goofy here because this this shed roof is supposed to end down here. Uh, I'd say about, about there. And this little part, of the 1212 built, so I'm going to take it up and uh, we'll connect it with that, like that. Yeah, okay. I'm going to take this and use the brake line tool right there and pull this over and stick it on the end, and then we can tie this uh, shed roof properly into our main roof. Okay, that's, that was easy. And uh, of course, your photograph doesn't show this size, but I, I would assume it. this comes down on, on this side just like it does on the other. But under, I don't know, it looks all right. But you could, depending on what it's supposed to look like, like break it outside the wall and just bring it out down outside the wall. Something like that. I did it, I'm gonna do it in plan view so it's a little more cogent. Yeah, see it, it's cutting through that wall there. So put it on the outside of the wall and that's what I intended. Yeah. So this is not the only way to do this, but it's a way. Now this, Auto, looks like that's an auto generate. Yeah, it's an auto generator wall, but it's not the right wall, wall type because again, Chief Architect software is stupid. It's a robot. You have to tell it what to do. 
So I'm, I'm going to go up here to wall types and change it from interior four to siding four. And I may have to flip the layers, but uh, yeah. We'll flip the layers. Yeah, okay, that looks better. By the way, for you, any of you people watching this video, here's what's on my second monitor. That, that's what the, the lady at uh, Home Talk was going for. And this is what she posted as a plan. So I, I created my footprint except this part. I just skipped that and use this to get the materials and, and the way the posts look like. Okay, we got one, two, three, four posts. Let's see what. Uh, up with that yeah one one too many okay so i'm going to click on this uh post here or this wall open its dialog box go to the uh newels and balancers tab i'm going to in oh i'm going to increase the spacing to uh 20 feet to eliminate that center post see okay there you have it uh, there's a lot more to this model than what I showed you, but she was having trouble with the roof, so I, I got the roofs in. At least, you know, kind of, sort of like, like the picture. Since I don't have dimensions and ceiling heights and all that sort of thing, this is just an estimation. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope this helps some people out there.